what my mom and dad did for me and sacrificed for myself, my siblings to be able to do what I'm doing today. And they instilled in me this idea that your job is to ensure that things are better for your own kids, right? right. Like whatever yeah. you, whatever we gave you. And that's what they did for me, right? Like they, I had uh, so much of an easier time than my parents did because my parents made sure of that, right? And it wasn't, we were like, you know, rich and had all this disposable income or things like that. But I think they instilled in me a lot of things that I take into being an administrator, being an educator, the importance of relationships. Like I always compare how they ran their restaurant to how I ran my school and what I learned from that experience. And so I, I, I think the, the pride that you have when you talk about your family is, is something that resonates with me because it shows that you don't need formal education uh, to be a very intelligent person. You don't need, uh, there's a lot of things that we can learn from people that maybe didn't have the same path in education because let's be honest, they didn't have the opportunity that we did. And the reason we had that opportunity is because of our families, because of our parents. And so I'm, I'm just, I'm curious about this. Like, what do you see um, in your work today that you think is influenced by your your parents uh, and their immigrant story? Like, what are some things that you look at that you do that you're like, yeah, this this is what my parents instilled me. Like, what are some of those things? Yeah, it's funny that you say that because I was just, I had a conversation with my mom the other day. Mm -hmm. Man, I, I taught my mom how to FaceTime, George. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's a podcast in itself. <laughs> but, 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 what I, what, what, but what I found was that my conversations with my mom are longer when I FaceTime with her than yeah. when I call her on the phone. Yeah. But I was thinking to myself, is my mom only had a sixth grade education back in the years of us. My father was a fourth grade education uh, because he had to go work to support the family. And my mom's situation was different because she was a woman. And I kept thinking to myself, is if my mom had the opportunity to be educated the way I was, she would have been a great leader. Mm -hmm. She's no nonsense. She tells it like it is. She's honest. She's sincere. She'll give you the shirt off her back. Mm -hmm. you know, and she works, she works very, very hard. And I, I'd like to think that I have some of those attributes mm -hmm. of my mother. And I, and I believe I exhibit those, or at least I want to exhibit those every day that I come to work. And, and she was a mill worker for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, really, really, I, I cannot remember my parents, probably like you taking a sick day. Right. Right. With my father, he was a very soft spoken leader. He led more by example. Mm -hmm. When he did speak, you know, people listened and it took a lot. And I, I think I gained my, I have my father's patience and my mother's impatience. <laughs> my, my father was a very patient, right. patient, patient man. And it took a lot. It, it took a lot to upset him. And if you upset my father, then nine out of 10 times you will <laughs> You are probably in the wrong, right, <laughs> so, right. so to speak. So I, I'd like to think that I'm a I'm a I'm a patient. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you, my parents are both good listeners, um, so, and I think part of doing the work that we do, George, you, you got to be a good listener. It's one thing to be hearing to to be listening, but are you hearing people right. when when they're talking? So, uh, and again, I think it's mostly that work ethic, and also just the fact that I think I get my father's innovation. Uh, being innovative mind, he worked in the mill and he was always being recognized for being efficient and for coming up with little, 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 always tinkering and making things and creating things to make the workflow more efficient as a machine operator. And, and my mother was, my mother is just, you know, she's just a hard, honest worker. Mm -hmm. And she was, and the other piece that I think I get from both my parents and my mother was reminding me of this the other day, when, when times were tough in the, in the mill where she worked, my mother was a seamstress. And she would, if her hours were cut, can I clean bathrooms? Can I sweep floors? What can I do to make sure that I'm getting my full pay every week? Because any job is not above me. And I would never ask someone to do something I wouldn't do myself. And I've always felt, um, I've always felt that as a leader, that if I'm asking you to do something, it's because I would do it myself. 